Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorials, PL Bar 1 Programming Language. So, so far you have seen a different kinds of control statements, right? So now we are going to see another important topic called arrays. So as you all know that in different kinds programming language you might have ar uh, uh, heard about the arrays, right? So arrays is nothing but a group of similar data items that is stored in with a common name is said to be known as an array so you uh, you have a set of items okay set of items that you wanted to store with a common name so that is called as an array suppose you have a days you have a days so right so if you want to store the days in an variable so what you will be writing day 1 equal to monday day 2 equal to uh, Tuesday, day 2 equal to Wednesday, day 3 equal to Friday, so so on up to Sunday, right? So instead of having multiple variables declared, so what you can do is you can s declare a single variable and and assign some index values to that and pass a value. So, like, for example, you have a day. This will be declaring a day and you'll be declaring with some index and based on the index, you'll be storing the values, okay? So that's that's the reason we go for arrays. So in based on this array, we have different different dimensions of array. So let's start with the uh, definition, actual definition. So an array is a table of data in which each item has the same attribute as every other items in the array. An array has storage reserved uh, for it by means of declared statements. Okay. So for example, I'm declaring this variable dcl temperature and, de and defining some index as the 365 and this is the fixed uh, data type so that is fixed 4 comma 1 and uh, we have to uh, we have to make sure uh, we uh, in arrays we will have some upper bound and lower bound so let's see uh, how, we, how what it will be in this programming language so you have displayed an array of temperature of uh, 365 okay uh, 365 index and uh, this data type is fixed decimal 4 comma 1 okay so used for bounds are used for declaring the size of an array so this is the size of an array right so in the above example 365 is the upper bound okay and the lower bound is uh, to be by default the lower bound is like 1 so it starts with 1 2 3 so on up to 65 so maximum 365 different kinds of uh, data you can store in this variable so a temperature of 1 you can store some them value temperature of 2 you can store some value temperature of 3 you can store some value so up to temperature of 365 you can store some value so that's the reason we are calling as 365 as a upper bound and by default the lower bound will be uh, like 1 so we are here we are assuming to be 1 so in the same way if you want to define uh, a lower bound and specific upper bound while declaring so you can define something like dcl graph minus phi colon plus phi and the data type is decimal of 6 so here in this case uh, your a lower bound is like minus phi and the upper bound is like plus phi it means like uh, your array indexing starts from minus phi uh, graph of minus phi equal to some value graph of minus 2 equal to some minus 4 equal to some values and so on and it is goes to up to plus phi okay so the in this way I mean this is something different from array declaration of any other programming language so here we are bothered about upper bound and lower bound so this is one way of declaring an array and this is the other way of declaring an array okay so I would like to stop this tutorial uh, video of this particular topic today and uh, I would be coming up with more in details about the array so stay tuned to uh, YouTube channel if you like this video if you want to comment on this video kindly please subscribe share or comment on my YouTube channel so I'll be coming up with more and more videos and different topics so stay tuned to YouTube channel for main tutorials so